Hey everybody, it's Taya DiCarlo and this is Talks with Taya where we talk about everything home related. Well today we're going to be talking about the market. I know, a lot of you are like, oh great, here we go, she's going to spew out some numbers and what does it mean to you? That's what most realtors do. They're like, here's the days on the market in Manhattan Beach, here's you know, uh, the median sales price in Redondo Beach. No, we're not going to talk about that. I want to talk with you guys about the buzz that's happening in the real estate industry right now. The buzz is that there's going to be a shift in the market. Yeah. I'm not talking about doom and gloom, like home again. I'm talking about a shift, a shift to a more normal market where it's not like homes are selling off market. You know, you put a sign in the yard and it has 20 offers. I mean, that's still happening right now. But what I'm reading in the industry and what I'm hearing amongst my peers is that in the next 18 months, we're gonna see a dramatic shift in the market to something more normal. Interest rates are gonna rise, there's gonna be more inventory to choose from, and things are just gonna like level out to be more normal. I read an article in the LA Times recently, I've got the stats right here, it says that for Southern California, the median home sale price rose in June 7.3% from last year, which at the same time, which is an all time high. But in the same breath, they also say that the number of sales are down 12% based on the number of sales the prior year in 2017 in June. And that actually, the no, that's actually the lowest number of sales in the last four years for the month of June. Mm -hmm. And why is June so symbolic? Well, think about it. When you think about selling season, you're gonna go to open houses, you're gonna be looking for a place. Selling season is spring early summer, May, June. So the fact that we have an unprecedented spike in values and a dip in number of sales, something's going on. And in this LA Times article, they talk about how it could be that interest rates are you know, rising just a little bit, but mostly it's because buyers are bowing out. Buyers are like, I've had it with all of these multiple offers, writing offers and missing out. I mean, people have lives to live. They don't just wanna be writing offers on real estate all day long. And I can tell you that I have personal experience of that, of you know, a client of mine or clients of mine who were expecting a baby. We wrote offers on numerous properties and they continually missed out and they were super aggressive with their price, no loan contingency, no appraisal contingency, and we're still missing out on buying a home. And they were like, you know what? We're just gonna rent for a little bit. We're gonna sit back, inventory's too low. So what does this mean for buyers and sellers, right? What does this mean? This means if you're a buyer that you're not alone. There are plenty of people out there who have had it um, and they're just gonna hold off a little bit until the inventory picks up. If you're a seller, this means that you are gonna have a, a harder time selling your home 18 months from now when you finally get off the fence and maybe you have to sell or you've been thinking about it, you wanted to sell when the prices were at the peak, well, nobody has a crystal ball. And all I can tell you is when people start selling their homes and there's more inventory on the market, buyers are gonna have more to choose from and they're gonna have more of the negotiating power. So this is a unique opportunity for sellers to capitalize on you know what arguably might be the peak of this market that's lasted a long time. I mean, we're talking um, a rise in sales that has not slowed down for almost 10 years. There are realtors who've been working full time who've only seen a rising market. They've never seen a declining market. So I'm predicting there's gonna be a rise in inventory, longer days on market for sellers, and realtors quitting. <laughs> I think we're gonna see a lot of realtors who find that um, it's really hard to survive in an industry where um, homes take a long time to sell. And Taya, is this true about all markets or just California's market? Good point. So, you know, for those of you out there who are like, well, Taya, I read something in Business Insider that said real estate on a national level. Okay, well, numbers may be different for the nation, but California is a very niche market. California is the largest economy in the entire country and the eighth largest economy in the entire world. So for us here in California, we have something very specific going on here that may or may not be different than real estate in Kansas or real estate in Illinois or in Oregon. For those of you realtors out there watching uh, this video, please share with me, comment below, and let me know what's happening in your market. Because right now, we are seeing prices that are literally the highest they've ever been. 
and a lot of us have been kind of waiting on pins and needles to see what's gonna happen here. So I do think that we are gonna see a little bit of a dip in values, nothing too crazy, um, just something more normal where you're not gonna see homes selling over asking out there. So there's the buzz on what's happening in the market. Uh, if, you have, if you're a buyer or you're a seller and you have any questions on whether or not you should buy, or if you are planning on selling, I hope you're interviewing three realtors, as you should, and I hope I'm one of them in Los Angeles. So please comment and post below. And remember, empower yourself with knowledge. This is Tox Otea, and I'll see you next time.